So there's a lot of controversy if if you can get a DevOps job under six months or if you can get a DevOps job in just four months. Some people think that you need a year, others think that you need more than a year, and there are so many schools of thoughts as to the duration which you can get a DevOps job. Welcome to DevOps with Mike. Today's video is just to clear it out. If you can get a DevOps job in under six months of training, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button right away and get yourself subscribed. Well, if you equally want to book a one-on-one -on -one mentoring call with me, there's a link in the channel description where you can book a one-on-one -on -one interview session, a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me, and I'll clear some of the doubts which you have. And equally, you want to join our Slack community for more updates on interviews, more updates on jobs, and more updates relating to the DevOps and the cloud computing world as well. Now, the focus of today's video is if you can get a DevOps job or a cloud computing role, or a security site reliability engineer, or a security engineer, or a cloud solutions architect role in under six months. And my response to you is, yes, it is possible, right? It's possible for you to get a role in under six months. Those who have been software engineers or those who have been in the IT field or those who have been in the IT sector for a couple of months or who have been in IT before, they can easily transition. For example, a software engineer who has been writing scripts with Python or who has been writing uh, software code with Java or with .NET or whatever programming language might be, can easily transition into the DevOps space because he already has understanding of frameworks in the internet, he already has understanding of frameworks in the software, so he already has basic understanding of development operations. Now, with this understanding of development operations, and in addition to some other tools, he can easily land himself a job as a DevOps engineer. So with just maybe four months or three months of getting to know more open source technologies in addition to his development portfolio, he can easily land himself a job. If you are not actually an IT professional or you've never been in the IT field before and you want to get a DevOps job in another six months, this demands a lot of work. Of course, most of the experience which you gain as a DevOps engineer or as a cloud engineer, you gain on the road. That is to say that when you get into the job, as you start implementing technologies, as you start solving the company's problems, as you start doing one or two things in the environment, you start learning the technologies or you start getting better. right? So for example, if you get into an environment that they're using Amazon Web Services Cloud and they need you to maybe perform an automation with a cron job and so on you might want to start learning aws lambda for your automation and you want to learn python scripts with your aws lambda or you want to just use a ci cd pipeline to perform the automation so once you get on the job you can start learning different different technologies so for you who doesn't have any it experience or for a person who doesn't have any experience in it they need to constantly or to consciously make a commitment to study cloud computing and to study devops consistently that is to say that Probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday, you are on your AWS console learning cloud computing, or you are on your AWS console learning Terraform, whatever technology along the cloud stack. Of course, in our previous video, we have listed some of the key technologies which you must learn if you want to be successful as a DevOps or as a cloud engineer. So if you can take four months to master a good number of these technologies and you can defend these technologies in a technical interview, you will definitely get yourself your job in less than six months. So to wrap up this video, here's my advice to you. If you're looking forward to getting a DevOps job in under six months or in four months from your time of enrolling in maybe the bootcamp, put up a schedule to learn different technologies, to have different projects which you're implementing, and of course, to master how to teach DevOps interviews. Because even a person who has been in a bootcamp for a year and not knowing how to pitch themselves or the project which you have implemented will face difficulties getting jobs. Set up your project repository, implement projects, upload in your project repository, set up a good resume, list out the services you've implemented in the course of your training in your resume, and then do demo interviews. And if you've done all those three things, go on ahead to start applying for entry level roles. Again, I've left a link in the channel description where you can book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me. So you want to check out that link to schedule a one-on-one, -on -one, maybe 30 minutes or one hour uh, interview call with me. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Again, if you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share this video, and see you in our next video.